AAA says nearly 40% of Americans are likely to buy travel insurance for an international flight. But is it worth it? A U.S. senator is sounding the alarm now that the coverage might not give consumers the protection they were expecting. Correspondent Chris Van Cleve explains. I could just feel my blood boiling. Laura Tropiano spent nearly $1,100 on flights to Europe for her and her husband, Matt, a Marine veteran who did tours in Iraq and Afghanistan to celebrate their second anniversary. With the trip 10 months away, she bought travel insurance through the airline. You book the trip, you've got this great plan, what happens? So about a month after we booked the trip, I find out that I'm pregnant with my daughter. And she's due October 21st. And our flight to come back from Europe was October 19th. So naturally, you can't fly when you're that pregnant. While the insurance covered illness, it did not cover pregnancy. Her claim was denied. The only thing skimpier than airplane legroom is the coverage of these insurance policies. A review by Senator Ed Markey's office found nearly all major U.S. airlines and online booking sites sell travel insurance, typically requiring customers to click yes or no to purchasing before being allowed to book a trip. The report found what it calls questionable travel insurance marketing practices for policies that offer minimal coverage and often erect hurdles to the payment of claims. Consumers are being tipped upside down, money is shaken out of their pockets, and it's split between the airlines and the insurance companies, uh, and it's just plain wrong. Just two companies underwrite all those policies. In a statement, the U.S. Travel Insurance Association said the industry was not contacted by Senator Markey, adding travel insurance is a valuable product that protects consumers' financial investment. The group recommends that travelers fully understand the coverage options they are purchasing to make sure it fits their needs. The purchase of travel insurance is voluntary. The solution ultimately is a more informed consumer, by which I mean people actually reading the fine print. For Laura and Matt, the airline refunded the taxes on their canceled trip, but they were out more than 700 bucks. We reached out to Norwegian, the airline that Laura was flying. The airline says it believes its trip protection and cancellation policies were properly followed. However, it's going to offer a goodwill refund of the remainder of Laura's airfare. Chris Van Cleve, CBS News, Washington.